Bismillahirrahmanirrahim So now we learn about integration by parts okay, So first of all, uh, we try to recall what we have learned in the previous chapter Which is product rule So when you try to differentiate this uh, function Which is the function in terms of fg So differentiate this function So this is formula of the product rule Okay, this implies that uh, fgx is an antiderivative of the function on the right side so when you try to integrate this one you can express in terms of integrate f g prime x plus f prime g x dx apply the properties so you will get like this okay so from this form we can rearrange in terms of so we put these terms on the left hand side so you will get f g x minus with the integrate f prime x gx dx okay actually uh, this formula allow us to compute difficult integral by computing a much simpler integral so we often express the integration by parts by using this formula first step we need to choose u and dv we need to find out du and also find out v so that is the first and the second step and then the next step so we need to apply this formula so this is the formula of integration by part okay so now uh, it is more easier if we directly discuss one of the example here okay look at to this example we need to evaluate this one okay so what is the first step okay the first step we need to choose the most suitable function that will become your u and also your dv let our u is equivalent to x then our dv is equivalent to sin x dx as i mentioned this now the second step you need to find out du and also v so how to get du so by differentiate your u so your du is equivalent to dx then we need to find out our v so how to get v by integrate our function here your v is actually equivalent to integrate your dv so it is equivalent to sin x integrate of sin x dx then you will get negative cos x so the next step we need to apply the formula so look at to this formula this is your question here your x is actually your u sin x dx is actually your dv okay you can compare with the formula integrate u dv so integrate u dv so applying this formula u times v your u is x your v is negative cos x then minus with integrate of your v is negative cos x your du is dx this one is actually your u this one is your v then this one is your v this one is your du so i just apply the formula here so it is equivalent to negative x cos x so this one you can write first in terms of positive cos x dx then negative x cos x when you try to integrate cos x so you will get sin x so sin x don't forget to plus c because this is indefinite integral so this is your final answer